Hello lovely floss tube friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren, also known as Cross Stitch Bunny, here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And you're probably thinking it is way too early for it to be a mid-month update, not to mention I said I wasn't doing a mid-month update this month. That much is still true, I'm not going to film a normal stitchy update floss tube until the beginning of next month, however, I have been catching up on a little bit of my floss tube viewing over the last couple of weeks and I've noticed a lot of people are doing kit parades and it seems like such a fun idea, I thought I would jump on board. That being said, I have an obscene amount of kits, too many, and I thought that to do like a full on these are all my kits parade would be absolutely ridiculous. Instead, I've had a little rummage through my kits and I decided to put into one box here all of my sort of favourite spring and summer kits. So some of them are like overtly very spring or summery and others are just things that remind me of those seasons, maybe because of the bright colours, um, lots of animals garden scenes, lots and lots of lovely bits. So I've narrowed it down to 35 so that this video isn't too ridiculously long and yeah, let's have a look at my 35 top kits for sort of spring, summer stitching. Obviously we are in spring at the moment, all of these kits are brand new in the packets and have not been started, none of them are whips at the moment. I'm currently working hard to get my whip count down and once I do, um, these are sort of the kits that I'm hoping to choose from when I have my next couple of new starts. So yes, let's go. Let's go and have a look through my box. So let's have a look at some lovely kits. These are all kits that sort of remind me of spring, summer sort of stitching. And we're starting with these three. These three are brand new haul. I have only just received them from Heritage Crafts. So all three of these are Heritage Craft designs. They are all from the Valerie Pfeiffer range of designs. Um, but within that collection, there are like other collections. So this one is from the Duets collection. It is called Takata in Green. And it is a gorgeous design of these two birds. Absolutely love the colours, all the detail of the berries and the little flowers in here. Just think this is an absolutely stunning design. I'm really a big fan of all the Valerie Pfeiffer um, sort of bird portraits. I have quite a few and Heritage had a sale on so it would have been rude to not add these three to my collection. <laughs> this one is even weave, which they all are. I went for the even weave option in all three. Let's have a look at the second one. This is Berry Time. This is from the Harmonies collection. So there's this really cute mama bird and she's feeding her baby bird a little berry and they are on this tree branch with all the purple berries and I do think these kits are always really clever in that they don't use much backstitch so you can see here from like the the mock-up design all of this foliage and berries is done with no backstitch and the only backstitch is just a tiny little bit sort of to outline the bird's wings and beaks and give the chick like a little bit of fluff <laughs> a bit of fluff on mum's head as well but yeah absolutely love that very spring themed I feel baby birds and the last one is these two gorgeous chicks blossom buddies and they are sat on this lovely branch with all the white flowers and this one's really pretty again really limited amounts of backstitch which is lovely it's nice when you can get all that detail like in the flowers just with shading not with the need for loads of backstitch so yeah those are my first three kits these are brand new haul that you've not seen um, definitely if you like these nip on over to the Heritage Crafts website see if the sale is still running and um, they did have some really lovely designs in but these three were my favorite next up oh shall I move these out of the way Let's move these three. Next up, I've got a little collection 
of Mill Hill ornaments. So all of these very much remind me of spring, which is not surprising given that they are from the Spring Bouquet collection. This first one is My Pad, a lovely little frog staring at this um, butterfly that's going past him, probably thinking of eating it. And all these Mill Hill kits come with everything you need to stitch them. You do have to sort your own threads. You know, these packets are tiny. They're no bigger than the palm of my hand. They're very small packets, so they don't have room in them for a thread card and for all the thread sorting. So you do have to sort the threads yourself, but usually it's not too difficult. And then you get beads, charms, or whatever else coming in the little packet. You get needles for stitching and needles for beading. So all your bases are covered. So there is my first one, Spring Bouquet. Sorry, my pad from the Spring Bouquet collection. And this one does actually include a magnet in case you want to turn it into uh, a fridge magnet. So that's quite cute. That is my frog. Next up is Garden Gnomes. So although this isn't specifically from the Spring collection, it's very spring-esque to me. This is called Beehive House. And it's such a super cute little design, all these flowers on this beehive house, bees dotted around, this cute little window at the top, and then this really nice little charm that hangs on the door that's heart-shaped. Absolutely love that, and you can see the little charm there in the back. I've got another one from the Garden Gnomes collection, which again is like a little house, but this is the mushroom house. Gorgeous butterflies, little toadstool, and the door on this one has a little star charm on it. Again, everything in the back. So yeah, I love these little ornaments. They are so much fun, and I really need to stitch some. This is a gorgeous monarch butterfly design, again from Spring Bouquet. I'm not sure that there's a charm on this one. I think it's just a butterfly with the beads. But yeah, very lovely depiction of a monarch butterfly. Really, really beautiful colours. And I've got another butterfly, which is the blue pansy butterfly. I've just realised this one says magnet included, as does as does the other butterfly. But I'm not intending to have these as um as magnets. just want them to be like little hanging decorations and this one comes with some cute little treasures so that is the blue pansy butterfly and next is this cute little rockin robin so I usually like associate robins more with Christmas designs but this is in the spring collection and it does look very spring like with these pretty flowers and all his chick fluff very, very cute. Got everything we need. Oh, look at that. It's got some really nice sparkly, shiny thread in this one. Now that looks nice. Really, really like this. So cute with all the fluff. And lastly, in my little Mill Hill collection, is the Bye Bye Birdie. So this is a lovely little bluebird. And looks like this one is done on um, two different sections. So you do the branch on the brown perforated paper and then you do the little blue chick on a blue perforated paper. And again, he's got loads of cute chick fluff. Blue sparkles. Oop, going out of focus. Blue sparkles. So yeah, those are my gorgeous little set of spring ornaments. I've got seven there. And like I think I said at the start of this video, there is no way that all of these kits are going to get stitched um, this spring and summer. Um, that is not going to happen, but it just gives me a nice selection to choose from when I um, get my next few finishes. So next one up is Some Bunny to Love kit called April Showers. Um, this is a DMC kit. And this definitely reminds me of the current weather because although it has been getting warmer and brighter, it has done nothing but rain at my house um, on and off, but, you know, fairly frequently for what seems like the entire Easter holiday. Um, and prior to that as well, like it has just been so rainy. It is ridiculous. 
So yes, April showers bring May flowers. Let's hope that the, um, the rain dries up for May. <laughs> but this one definitely reminds me of the current situation. Got everything you need in there, pre-sorted threads, which is always nice. And this one comes on a standard 16 count white Ada. So yeah, lovely little kit. I love the little duck friend. That's really cute. And he's holding a little flower. Really, really sweet. Just notice something, like we're looking at the model stitch of this. It's really unusual. Like obviously that is the cover photo. Can you see on the cover photo where the thread for these little half stitches has just been trailed, but it's actually shown up in the photograph? Um, yeah, so when I do start this kit, with that in mind, with it being just on a white fabric and the fact that these half stitches would actually be a nightmare to do individually and keep keep changing threads. I may have to bear that in mind and maybe I will back the fabric first. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that with stitching, but when you've got a design like this with all the thread um, like trailing between that you can actually see has come through on this model picture, I've never done it myself, but I have previously seen a suggestion that I thought was a really good idea that if you get some interfacing, and I often put iron-on interfacing on the back of my projects when they're finished anyway, what you can actually do is iron some interfacing onto the back of the fabric before you start to stitch. I've seen someone do it on Instagram. And then when she was stitching something that did have a lot of like floating stitches, she could just carry her thread. But because you're stitching through the Ada and through the interfacing, all the long dangly sort of traily bits were actually hidden behind the interfacing, which I thought was a super clever idea. Definitely might have to try it for this particular kit. Next little design is a really cute little bookmark. So this is, who is this by? There's a little logo here of a deer, but I'm not familiar with it. Ah, made in Scotland by Textile Heritage. And it is a lovely bookmark with three little flamingos. This would not take long to stitch up at all. And I think it already comes with the scalloped, yeah, it does, like scalloped edged banded Ada. Yeah, I just thought that is really pretty. Definitely reminds me of summer. And it's a very small little stitch. Definitely wouldn't take too long. So that is lovely. Just wondering what this little round circle down here is for. It kind of sticks out to me. I'm not sure that I would stitch that because it just seems random. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to attach a little tassel there in the corner or something, not sure. Just seems very random block of stitching that's not in keeping with the rest of the design but the rest of the design I absolutely love so definitely definitely might do this one this summer because it really is a small and I don't stitch that many smalls but this one would not take me long at all and it would be nice to have a bookmark so that's that one next up is this panna kit so this shows it with the Russian writing but in the smaller preview down here you can see the English version which says home is where the heart is and I do love this kit the the house with the bird's nest on the top so much glare on this one these sort of apple outlines hanging from the tree and of course the keys which is what really attracted me to this kit when I bought it in the first place I just love these hanging keys Little lovebirds, just think this is gorgeous. Very crinkly, this is very crinkly. So this has got all pre-sorted threads. It's got two little keys there. And the fabric, I'm not sure offhand if it is 14 or 16, ah, 16. 16 count gamma fabric in this kit and gamma threads. Absolutely love that. Henry is howling, by the way, if you can hear him. He's perfectly safe and well, but I've shut the door on him because he's not allowed in this particular room. <laughs> he's not very happy that I've left him, but hopefully this is not gonna take too much longer. 
Next kit is Home is Where Your Story Begins. This is by the Historical Sampler Company. And I just really like the white houses on this and the little flowers remind me of spring. But it's also, even though it's not like specifically a beach scene, I don't know, I sort of get like beachy vibes as well. I don't know whether it's from like the sandy colour of the fabric or the, the fact the houses are like white. I don't know. But this kind of gives me spring vibes predominantly with these little flowers in between the houses but also like slightly beach vibes in any case i love it really cute design everything is pre-sorted you can spot your needle there and this is also an ada kit um do you know the majority of kits do seem to come with ada don't they but i don't know whether i will do this on ada i may swap that out um just for a very similar even weave or linen i think this would look really nice on linen so yes, this one may be a fabric swap situation. It looks to me as if the model stitch, if I can get a bit closer, that model stitch is not stitched on Ada. That is stitched on either linen or even weave, but then it's Ada in this kit. And I just think it will, I think this design will look nicer on a linen. So I'll probably go ahead and swap that out. Next up is a bit of a marathon of Karen Carter designs because I have so many of them but a lot of them are very spring and summer-esque. I've got so many with plants and animals and chickens so there's a lot of these in my 35 top kits for spring and summer. So yes all of these will be heritage crafts now so I'm not going to repeat myself. All of them where I can I've bought on even weave so that will be the majority. If any of them do say Ada or 14 count in the corner, it's because at the time the even weave was not available to me. So this is the potting shed. Absolutely love these little designs. So much detail in these like little rows. Got onions that are drying. I love the little snail, the carrots. Oh, I just love this. The Wellington boots, I love everything about this. It is so cute and obviously perfect for anybody that loves gardening absolutely love this these these um designs all do have quite a lot of backstitch but it is worth it like it just makes them come to life so lovely so that is the potting shed next up is the vegetable patch absolutely gorgeous and cross stitch mad sarah bought this for me as a birthday present because she knows me so extremely well got the chickens here going in the vegetable patch where they shouldn't be, pecking around, got the little shed in the back and then the sneaky fox in the background waiting to pounce. Absolutely love this. And when I was going through my collection, you realise I have two <laughs> um, because Sarah bought it for me, but I'd also bought it for myself. So I've got two of these and my next Floss Tube episode is actually due to be Floss Tube 50, which is quite a landmark episode. And this is a very seasonally appropriate kit. So make sure you catch my Floss Tube 50 because I think one of these will be coming your way in a giveaway. The 14 count Ada option, I think, because I'm gonna keep the even weave for myself. So yeah, that is Vegetable Patch, and I've got one to share with you guys. <laughs> that is another lovely Karen Carter design, as is this one. So this is Love Your Garden. There's quite a few of these text-based patterns where there's a word surrounded by loads of motifs. I've got Relax. I think I might have one that says Home. But this garden one definitely reminds me of Spring. Absolutely love it. I've not been bothering to flip over all these kits, um, but all the Karen Carter kits come with pre-sorted threads, needle, all very nice and organised, big clear patterns. I am a big fan, big fan of these kits from Heritage. So that is Love Your Garden. Next is Making Honey. So this is a lovely design. Again, very garden inspired. You've got the little beehives here. There's like a, a wheelbarrow in the back all these gorgeous sunflowers and other flowers with all the happy fat little bumblebees buzzing around. This design just makes me so happy to look at. Absolutely love this. Adam has spoken on several occasions that one day he would like to keep bees. So you never know, 
Maybe if he does, this can be for him at some point. Henry? Will, will you tell Flossie why you were barking? Why were you barking? Why were you barking? You're happy now. See? Henry's fine. You're just noisy. No monkey. Oh, cuddles. Cuddles. My boy. Naughty boy. Isn't you? You're my naughty boy. You are. Come on. Let's go. I'm getting quite a pile here now, but I think we're, um, we must be halfway through by now. Next is chicken run. Absolutely love this, more chickens. Got a couple of roosters here, a little laying hen in her egg box, all these little baby chicks, one that's just hatched. It's a tiny, is that a little mouse? I think that is a tiny little mouse in the corner. <laughs> yeah, this is just so sweet. And again, I've already said it, but I just absolutely love the backstitch details in these. You know, as much as it's nice to pick up a pattern with no backstitch and just be able to get on with stitching your crosses, it has to be said that there's a lot of designs that just come to life and look amazing. Amazing with backstitch detail. And I am here for it. I do not shy away from backstitch patterns. It's just nice to swap. Nice to swap out between things that do need a lot of backstitch and things that don't. But I'm definitely here for both styles. Both styles of designs, because they both are wonderful in their own way. But you would just never get this level of detail in such a small project without that backstitch. It is amazing, love it. Uh, ooh. This is another Mill Hill kit, but it is a larger one. So this is from the Styx collection. And this one is called Leave Only Footprints. I really loved this design when I saw it and I asked Zarina at Hawkins Hobbies to order it in for me. She didn't have one at the time, so she did. She got it for me. And then I was really surprised when it arrived, when I flipped this over to my memory. Um, yeah, there's like very few beads in it. So there's like a lot of stitching in this. Um, and a lot fewer beads, like relatively speaking, to most Mill Hill kits. And to be honest, I can't really see, um, like you can see here, there's a few beads in the waves. I'm honestly not sure from the model where the rest of the beads come in, because looking at the color of them in here, there are like a few, sorry, I don't know if it's gonna focus for you. There are a few of these sort of transparency ones, which I'm assuming are the ones on the water, but the rest are like a really dark sort of brown color. So yeah, I'm not sure where those beads go. It's gonna be interesting when I open it to actually start stitching and see where to put them. But I love this design, really liked it from the moment I saw it. Really, really beautiful. So this one's on perforated paper. Although it's a larger kit, like it's still a perforated paper kit. And this one comes with sort of a, a dark beige or light brown that ties in nicely with the design. So that is a lovely kit. Oh, <laughs> there's some more heritages here that were hiding. That one slipped into the middle of them. So here is another chicken kit. This one is Happy Hens. So it is quite similar to my chicken run but these guys have more of a scenic background and they are in their hen house but yeah these two are quite similar but i do love chickens love chickens this one's very pretty this one is full coverage really and um, so this is like all stitched background absolutely beautiful so many chicken kits Next one is Tree of Life, another heritage, and I love this. This is so spring inspired to my mind. Bunnies, hedgehogs, all these cute little animals, squirrels, owls, birds, bees, flowers, little mouse. Have I missed anything? 
And it's like a little mole here. Absolutely love this. This tree just makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy to look at. Like this one is definitely high on my list. I think this would be a lovely spring start. If I can get some finishes this month, this would be gorgeous to start this spring. This is even weave again, so that's good. I won't need to swap the fabric out because I definitely want to do this on even weave. Absolutely gorgeous, I love this a lot. Even like the little squirrel there has got his little nut. I just love all these details, such beautiful kits. Ah, moving on to some Bothy kits. So next up is Allotment Fun by Bothy. This is 14 count Ada kit. And what says spring and summer more than an allotment. We've got allotments all down the side of our house, like to one side. They're not as pretty as this, unfortunately. That would be nice. <laughs> but I very much love this design with all the little sheds. Looks like there's some cabbages growing there. There's pumpkin on a vine. Carrots in the basket. It's like an apple tree. The scarecrow is a nice little touch. Very clever, very clever little details all over the place. Every time you look at it, you see something new. And I like that. I love the weather vane. Really nice design. Ooh, we then have the riverbank. I think yes, along the riverbank shoe from the Sally King design collection of shoes. I love many of the shoes in this collection, but this particular shoe so far to date, I think still remains my favorite. I just love it. I think the composition of the shoe is so clever with the bird here making up the heel. Love the kingfisher flying um, like over the top. I just think it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is a 16 count Ada kit. Beautiful, beautiful. Like that a lot. Got so many kits here now on this pile. Next is another Bothy. So this is Wildflower Memories. And this is one of the busiest Rendale designs that Bothy do. There is a lot going on here. This is a 16 count kit. And if I start from the bottom here, so we've got like this little mole or vole amongst the bluebells, gorgeous little chick here, monarch butterfly, beautiful flowers, bumblebee, so many butterflies. I don't know what they all are, but beautiful butterflies all over the place. Got these thistles here little ladybirds crawling on the thistles and a bumblebee, mouse up there. And then every stitcher's favorite animal here at the bottom, the frog. <laughs> I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful scene. You know, most Bothy designs for the, well, the Rendale designs that Bothy kit, most of them have do you know, one animal or a couple of animals of the same type in the same design. I really love that this is such a, like an eclectic mix of everything summer and spring related. All these gorgeous colours, love it. So that is a really nice one. This is a biggie though. This will, will take quite a while. You can just feel in the weight of the packet that is um, a decent sized piece of fabric and quite a lot of thread. It's got the speckly fabric as do all the Rendell designs. So yeah, that is a beautiful one. Next is my Bothy Rendale clowning around. So these are the lovely clown fish. I just love their bright colors. Um, and they again are on a Rendell spotty fabric, but this is sort of the blue splash fabric, which they put all their ocean designs on. And this is a 14 count kit, a 14 count Ada. Everything's nice and neat there in the back. I love this. I love clownfish. Like Adam and I used to keep a lot of um, saltwater aquariums. A lot of saltwater aquariums. Our house used to be full of them. They were all over the place. Um, and we did for a while, probably for like five or six years. We actually had um, a saltwater aquarium business. Um, so yeah. 
this reminds me of those times and I am not sorry to have all those fish tanks gone out of my house. <laughs> um, but at the same time, although keeping them was a lot of effort, um, you know, they, they were absolutely beautiful. I did enjoy enjoy having all our all our saltwater fish and corals. They were they were beautiful and spectacular to look at, but just a lot of maintenance. But this reminds me of when we used to keep them. So do you like that one? Uh, next one is a little bit random that I've included in this top 35. There's nothing particularly spring or summery about it, uh, but you know, Adam loves his biscuits all year round, regardless of the weather, regardless of the time of year. Um, and this one just really reminds me of him. So I've stuck this in the box because all these kits, like once I've been through them with you, they are just gonna go back in this box and when I get some finishes under my belt, I'm gonna try and select my next few kit starts from this box. So I threw this one in there because I definitely want to get this done fairly, fairly soon. It would be nice to make a start on this. This is I Love Elevenses by Newton's Law. All the stuff in there. For those of you who can still hear Henry in the background, just to let you know, I have turned off this camera twice and been to him and he's just been a little pain. Um, and sometimes they have to learn that they can't always be in the same room as you. Um, so this is a bit of a, a learning curve for Henry. Do you know, he does spend a lot of time with me, but he does need to learn that I can't always be in the room with him and he's really kicking off. Um, but like I said, just to reassure you, I've been to him twice. <laughs> He's absolutely fine other than disgruntled. So I'm gonna carry on and we'll finish up with these before I go and tell him what a pain he is. So this is Over the Waves. This is a little Riolis kit. I love the little ducks here. Really cute. I like this one that's upside down. <laughs> so yeah, another, another lovely little kit. And this one is on sort of a very rustic looking Ada. I think that's probably a 14 count. Yeah, 14 count, oh, 14 count Flaxen Zweigart. But yeah, very pretty design, I love this one. Really nice, I say that about all of them. I love them, I love them, of course I do, otherwise they wouldn't be in my stash. Next one is a little freebie kit from a magazine. So this is Frankie the Sausage Dog the fancy floral design. And I just love all his colors, the fact that he's floral. Um, his chart is from Cross Stitcher Magazine 341. So that's issue 341. And I'm gonna just pull up the, um, the pattern on my Readly app when I get around to stitching him because it should be on there, fingers crossed. There's the felt in the back here to make his ears. There's a little black button or bead here, that's for his nose. And I just think he's really cute. I like Frankie. So he is in the to-do box. Next is this lovely kit. This is a beach road sign. Sort of bookmark, bookmark size maybe. Oh, we can't see the back there. This is a kit from Ukraine. Povitrulia handmade, they are on Amazon, they're on Etsy. And I love this design, waves, ocean, bar, lagoon. Absolutely lovely. Really pretty little kit, again, like the bookmark that I already showed you with the flamingos. This will not take long to stitch. A nice Riolis kit here. And when I bought this, I was so much in love with it, I planned to start it immediately. And then that just didn't happen and I'd kind of forgotten about it. It ended up in one of my kit drawers. So I've pulled this out, added it to the box and this one is called Recipe for Happiness. And look at it, it is gorgeous. All these lovely ingredients of joy, love, luck, goodwill and kindness being fed to this lovely plant who looks so happy. Rainbow petals, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love the sentiment of this, the words, like the whole concept of this recipe for happiness. 
I just think this is an absolutely beautiful kit and I need to get on with doing it. <laughs> this is just supplied with um, a plain fabric. I don't know if you can see it hiding behind the threads there, but it is just on a plain fabric. It's on 18 count Ada. Ooh, knocking over my camera. Um, this is on 18 count Ada. I'm not sure that I want to stitch this on Ada and I'm not sure whether I want to put this on a nice pretty hand dye. Maybe, I'll just have to be careful that obviously because this kit has been kitted with 18 count fabric in mind, if I do switch it out for a hand dyed piece of something, I will need to make sure it's 36 count so that I don't run out of threads. But yeah, absolutely love this. It is just so pretty, beautiful. Getting to the end here, guys. I think we've just got four left to look at. So this one is pea fowl. And it's quite a biggie, 60 centimetres height. This is a panna kit. And I just love all the gorgeous, gorgeous colours in this. Absolutely beautiful. We have an annual pass for like a farm place nearby. It's got like farm animals, loads of um, outdoor aviaries with loads of different birds, as well as all the, the chickens and the ducks and like all the laying poultry. They've also got loads of deer. They've got um, like more exotic animals that are in like reptile houses and things like that. They're also a working farm. So they've got pigs, they've got lambs, um, sheep everything they've got like miniature cows um but they have some really beautiful peacocks there they've got um, like the normal ones that you expect to see but they've also got like the white peacocks yeah and daisy and had they do really love going to see them they get really excited when they're like displaying their plumage the boys when they put the tails up so yeah this reminds me a little bit of when we go and visit the peacocks there and i just think the colors in this one sorry about the lights the colours in this one are fabulous, absolutely gorgeous. This is supplied with Ada. Um, and I think I am happy to stitch this one on Ada. Like, I've got so many kits, like I can't swap out everything for even weave. Um, although that is my preference these days. And I do still like to have a few Ada projects on the go at any one time because they are really easy on the eye. Um, so yeah, they're good to jump out to, especially if I'm trying to... Be careful with my eyes, but yeah, love the colours in this. Last couple of kits now. Uh, so these two kind of come as a pair, as it were. These are both Dimensions kits, and these are the two birth samplers that I have been saying for years now that I am going to stitch for Daisy and Hadley. So, closer look. This is the one that I plan to stitch for Daisy's birth sampler. This is called the Treehouse Birth Record. And it's got name personalization, date, and then the little details here for like weights and lengths and those kind of things. I really need to get around to doing this. And also it is very spring and summery with all the little animals in the treehouse. Definitely very seasonal for this time of year, which might motivate me to pick this up and start it. I really do need to do these, otherwise they're never going to get a birth sampler. Um, and it's more for me, really, than for them, to be honest, because they're not going to want these hung on their wall when they're like a teenager or beyond. Um, but they'll be nice for myself and Adam to have as a memory of their birth and just those little details that we we might start to forget as our memories start to go. <laughs> It'll all be written down here. And this one is Hadley's birth sampler, which is not as spring and summery, but it is very sort of adventure related. Um, there is snow on the mountains here, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the, these two just go hand in hand for me. They both had to be in my sort of 35 kits that need to be started. <laughs> I can't put one in there and not the other. And this is the Little Adventurer birth record. And again, it's got like personalization space for the name and for the date and then they've actually got the weight here in the little sunshine absolutely lovely kits i really like both of those both of those choices and the last kit 
it is not my camera being blurry, it is a blurred out image because this last one in my top 35 is the Caterpillar Cross Stitch How Does Your Garden Grow? I will obviously pop on the screen the unblurred version because this is no longer a sal, it is no longer a secret and you will have all already seen it. So I will pop that image on the screen for you so that it is more clear. But this is the um, the 14 count, I think, 14 count fabric or is it 16 count that I've got in this kit? I'm pretty sure that's a 14 count. You can see all the threads are nicely bobbined on these long floss cards got a nice printed off key in there. Love the colour of this fabric and the pattern is a PDF. So I've got a PDF pattern. I bought this um, kit, like the material pack, I bought this from a lady on Facebook Marketplace who had bought it and, and decided she didn't want to stitch it. And this is the one Caterpillar cross stitch stitch along that I've always regretted not doing at the time because I'm always a bit dubious with mystery designs and then as this one was revealed over time decided I really loved it and it would have been nice to have done it as a sal to motivate myself but that didn't happen because I bought it late I was late to the party but yeah I'm looking forward to doing that one at some point Thank you for spending some time with me today to go through those kits I really enjoy going through my stash of kits to put them together hope you like my selection. Um, if you've got a favourite, let me know. Which one would you start first? If that was the 35 that you were picking from, let me know. I'd be interested because it's difficult. There's so many there and that is like only a small proportion of my kits. But yeah, if you were picking which one I should start next, what would your choice be? Floss Tube 50 is going to be my next normal Floss Tube episode. Do not miss it. It is a landmark episode and I may be feeling generous. I have already found that kit that's duplicated in my stash. So that may well be on its way to a new home very soon and that new home could be yours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do some nice fun things and some giveaways to mark my 50th episode because that seems like a fun thing to do. So I hope to see you... Um, at the beginning of May for that. What else? Very small life update since I'm here. This was very random. I decided to film because I am housebound at home, still waiting for puppies to arrive on the 6th of the month. They could have been due any time from the 1st, so it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Patience is a virtue, but I am running out. <laughs> I'm running out of patience. Um, Adam's very tired, he's been doing most of the night vigils, keeping an eye and waiting for babies to arrive but as of yet nothing has happened and yeah today I'm just sort of on dog watch, Adam has taken the kids out to a birthday party and I can't really get into cleaning and tidying mode um, and spend hours doing that sort of stuff because I'm so fixated on worrying about whether these puppies might drop um, that I'm literally either in the room checking on the girls or I'm watching them on the monitor and I can do that while I sort of sit and stitch or watch telly but I can't really do it if I'm running around doing loads of housework. Um, so that was my excuse for deciding to film today and um, I've not done any stitching yet today and I wasn't sure that my eyes were ready for it. They were a tiny bit sore when I woke up this morning so I put extra drops in and just thought I'm just going to give my eyes um, plenty of time till the afternoon before I attempt any stitching so I thought what else can I do other than watch more floss tube myself I thought I'll film a floss tube so I hope you've enjoyed it I will see you all very soon take care and everyone else that's been doing kit parades and um, I've been loving them I think it was um Lindsay at Blushing Pink Stitchers I've watched your kit parade and then Charlie at Charlie Feathers although I still need to catch up with your previous floss tube I've already watched your kit parade and um, both those kit parades were lovely and I think I've seen a couple of others pop up on my feed everybody's doing kit parades so I just thought why not and um, may as well join in take care everyone happy stitching as usual and see you all at the beginning of May